Welcome back to the second episode of our King Slave Plantation tour. We're gonna check two more slave cabins and then we're gonna go check the owner's big house. Let's go ahead and check it out. Remaining from this slave cabin, just a chunk of the wall. Everything else has been destroyed by the weather. Mm. This is the rooms of slave cabins. See the sand? This is the sand and this is the oyster shell. They put them together. And they've been here for over 200 years. Over 200 years. And the plantation is going all the way. Well, as you can see, I'm alone here. There's nobody around me. There's nobody around. It's only me. It's only me. Well, back here we can see some tools that they use for the farm. This is they call this. Hello. I do not know. What this is here for? As you can see, it's been here forever. Look at it. Overseers could ride out and inspect the property. Other barns would store the massive bales of sea island cotton. We need to This is outside. This is how it used to be. Well, this is the big house. We are getting closer to it. We're getting closer and closer to the big house. Let's go see what it has.
now we are here. We're gonna go inside the kitchen. And see what they have here. Oh. Okay. So this here is called a double crank hand gen. This is what they will use to peel off the cotton to take the seed off of it and put it. This is it right here. So this is original. Slave people use this. So when my hand is right now, I'm touching history. I'm touching the fingerprint that they left here. This is it right here. Those are things left here by them. You can see this stuff. There's cotton right there on that table. There's a little iron. Let's see how we can get it. This is the kitchen, not for the slaves. This is not a slave's kitchen. This is the master, master's kitchen because this kitchen is connected to the big house, to the, the, the owner's house. And this is how they used to eat. This is a little representation of it. You have a whole chunk of meat over there. You have an egg, you have a candle. So that it uses the light. You have corn here, and you have oyster right here, and the bread and some orange. This is the door to the kitchen. It goes all over there. But unfortunately, you can't go in, it's locked. This wooden material here that you are seeing, it's the original piece that they would, the slave traders were using when they were coming with black people inside the ships. As you can see right here, this is a representation of it. This is how it would look on the legs. This is it here. This is the piece right here. This is the piece. You can see here what I'm looking for. I was so good. Good. That's a beautiful shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I saw it in South Africa. Yeah? Are you from South Africa? No, from Congo. Oh, from Congo? Yeah. So it's pretty close to South Africa. Okay, it's in the center of Africa. Yeah, Congo is in the center of Africa. Okay. And then South Africa, basically, it's in the south. Okay. Well, now we are going to the big house. We're going to take this path right here and hopefully the big house will be open. Which it don't seem like it is, but let's get closer and see it. It don't seem like it's open. It's closed. It says historic door. Please do not touch. Yeah, it's closed. The big house is closed because just This is the big house, but it's closed. They do not let people get in for some reason. I do not know, but yeah, this is it right here. And we're gonna get closer to the water. This is the water where the boats used to dock. Those boats used to bring slaves, merchandise and everything. They would dock right here. We're gonna get closer and check it out. We can have a side view 
of the big house. This is it right here. This is a big house. It is closed. They don't let people get in. But if you stand here, this is the view that the owner will have of his backyard. All those beautiful trees and the water right behind it. Well, now we are getting ready to go to the boat dock where it goes this way we're gonna take this route right here to the boat dock this is where the boat used to dock you have the water this water was like the highway back in the days because they didn't have cars and they didn't have all the means of transport that we have today so they everything was done through the water and by the water and uh, they would dock here and then go this way to the plantation that right there is the big house the owner's house this is where it will stay while here you can see how beautiful this is. 